much <laughs> smaller scale. I can tell you I was out doing my power walk just before noon today, and I could swear out in West Omaha that rain turned to sleet and snow grains. Ooh, a little bit for a moment little bit. of time. Sound like the weather goulash you experienced <laughs> in West Omaha. That wouldn't surprise me. We did have uh, reports of some snowflakes in Fremont, so they could okay. have made it into western parts of the, uh, the metro before it kind of fizzled away and moved on. To the east, next time, Craig, you know, take a couple of pictures of those. Send them to I contribute, and, you know, well, uh, we'll I, share, I got a we'll blister on my heel to, to tell you about, but Jenny's already heard about it. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Let's take a look at Viper HD. It does show an area. And, Craig, this is mostly light rain, by the way, although we can send you in a vehicle down south and have you report. But anyway, some light rain passing off to the south of us from Lincoln back over toward Nebraska City. We had a hint of a few sprinkles cutting across the metro here, uh, but for right now, things have pretty much moved on. Prairie Point up to uh, 49 degrees, up a little bit over last hour, located out uh, near Zerinsky Lake. Elsewhere, what's it like in your neighborhood? Well, out toward Elkhorn, 46. Prairie View is at 46. Chalco Hills has 47. Down south, Willow Springs and down toward Stonecroft. A little bit warmer there. Temperatures are running in the upper 40s. If we expand the view just a little bit across the region, these uh, readings have been running in the 40s, close to 50 degrees. Epley's close to 50 right now. Uh, in western Iowa, up around Denison and Carroll, a little bit cooler there with temperatures around 42. Take a look outdoors again. Epley at 49. They have a southwest wind at 11. Stronger winds in the western part of the state are forecast to roll in late tonight and then into tomorrow. Threat tracker on the low side tomorrow. Catch a little bit of a break between a couple of weather systems. We're looking at snow developing late Friday. It will probably begin as some rain after 3 o'clock. As we head towards 6 o'clock, we go over to snow. Probably accumulate through midnight. It's out of here on Saturday, the way things are looking now. We are beginning to tap some drier air over northeast Nebraska, and that is pushing on toward the south and east. A closer view does show the better rain in areas just off to the south. As we kind of progress through the evening and then through the overnight temperatures tomorrow morning, begin the day in the lower 30s. As we move toward 11 a.m., you're getting ready to head out to lunch. We should be in the lower 40s and then top out tomorrow in the upper 40s. Some spots could uh, actually get to about 50. Then that system moves in on Friday. Again, any changeover in Omaha would probably hold off until around 6 o'clock Friday evening. Then that snow pattern advances toward the south. A couple inches here seems likely between 6 p.m. and midnight. Definitely heavier off to the north and out to the northeast. In fact, winter storm watches are in effect for far northeast Nebraska on Friday. Tonight, clearing out. Temperatures will settle back to 32. The outlook for tomorrow, lots of sunshine, but a lot of wind. Winds west at 30 to 40 with a high of 48. Over the next three days, we're looking at 44 on Friday, but temperatures will fall after lunchtime. We're going to be in the 30s by the evening drive as we go from rain over to snow on Saturday. Temperatures begin the day in the 20s, the high only 35, 17 early on Sunday. That's the best we're going to do. However, there's good news for next week. Those of you looking to travel, especially as we head to our Tuesday and Wednesday, right now in our area it looks dry with temperatures there in the 40s. We'll keep you posted.